I give the floor now to the distinguished representative of International Federation for Family Development. You have the floor. Mr. Chairman, Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, what will the future bring for families? What are the factors influencing the vulnerability of families with children? The International Federation for Family Development has participated in two recent surveys directed as scientists and parents to compare opinions. The expert survey sought to gather information regarding expected changes in vulnerability of families with children, and it distinguished between three different dimensions of vulnerability, economic, psychological, and social. In addition, experts were requested to rate the relevance of 10 policy components for stopping the reproduction of vulnerability within families. Mr. Chairman, drawing upon the results of focus groups research, 10 policy measures were selected, and in general, all 10 measures were expected to be important by responding experts. Four of them, however, got very high ratings. First, providing flexible, affordable childcare options for preschool children. Second, organizing assistance for children with special needs. Third, making employers aware that it makes sense to care for the work-life balance of their employees. And fourth, providing education for all children already at an early age. For each of these four measures, the experts consider indispensable or very important to stop the reproduction of vulnerability. In line with experts, parents rated making employers aware that it makes sense to care for the work-life balance of their employees, the highest, putting assistance for children with special needs in third place. Participants of the family survey, however, did not agree with experts on each and every policy measure. The effectiveness of support for stay-at-home mothers was given a completely different weight. While experts ranked it on average in last place, parents on average thought it to be the second most important policy component. Another disparity concerns education, although parents stated that education at an early age and education after school and in holidays are important, and they were ranked lowest among the 10 policy measures. The report ends with suggestions to observe and monitor vulnerability and by that improve policies. It is argued that a mainstreaming approach seems to be most promising because family vulnerability permeates numerous policy areas, labor market policies, family policies, educational policies, raising awareness of vulnerable families, vulnerable children, and the problem of vulnerability transfers across generations in needed, not only with respect to employers, but also to society at large. This could be an appropriate field to cooperate with NGOs. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.